Hi, this is Vance with an Adola tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a loading screen for multiple complex actions. What you will need is at least a free account on Adola, a Lottie Files account to, do, to use the assets, which are Lottie animations that we're going to use for the loading screen so that users will know that uh, it's actually loading and performing some actions on the app. And then you need to credit the, the Lottie animation author somewhere in your app, for example, a credit screen. And I should credit uh, this other tutorial uh, on the Indalo community forums where Craigo shared how to implement an action preloader for an app, something like a payment screen of sorts, because there are multiple complex actions that has to be performed. So some, uh, sometimes it might take a few seconds to actually load and then go to the next screen. And sometimes when you click on button, it might freeze. So why will you need uh, a loading screen? In what kind of cases do you need a loading screen? So if you're living outside of the US like me, I live in Singapore, the load time for complex actions can take a few seconds. So for example, if a button click is supposed to perform multiple actions that update several fields in a few data collections, the button might freeze upon the first tap. And then if you're unlucky, it doesn't uh, disable, the app doesn't disable the button, right? The user might end up tapping a few times thinking that the app didn't register the action. So it's bad UX and best, and at worst, it will create problems. For example, in our case, it will create double records in data collections and turn users away. So in our specific use case, uh, or rather our specific situation, right? Um, it's a yoga booking app. So students will book classes on the mobile app. And uh, whenever they book a class, they will deduct credits from their account. So if they tap twice, and then it's going to deduct credits twice, obviously. And then they will email us, and then they will have to wait for us to reply. We have to manually add the, the credits back into the account and then apologize to them. It's a very bad user experience, right? A very bad customer experience as well. So of course, a simple workaround is to implement a loading screen or a model. So when the button is tapped, it will only have one action, which is send the user to the loading screen where they will see a Lottie animation, something like this, right? uh, uh, an hourglass loading icon. So upon reaching the loading screen, the complex actions will then execute. To give the user some visual feedback, we'll use a Lottie animation. So and uh, it's, it's uh, an ex uh, extra component that you can install in the Dalo editor, which I'll show you in a bit later. And the firing action in the sequence would then send the user to the success screen. As I mentioned, in our case, we need the loading screen for when the user books a yoga class on a mobile app. And because there are multiple condition actions to check whether the user is really booked in the class, uh, whether they don't have enough credits to book the class or have expired credits. So it usually takes about three to four seconds or even sometimes five seconds, depending on uh, the, the load on the download service. And because of this, as, as I mentioned just now, we have double booking and of course, double reduction of credits. So um, these are some screenshots of how it appears in the editor if you decide to use the text-based tutorial. And after implementing this loading screen for complex actions on a mobile app, uh, we didn't have any problems with uh, the like a student getting credits deducted twice just because they pressed the button twice, right? Because uh, in 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 most cases, right, you'll have all the actions happen on the button, but right now, right, it happens only on the loading screen, which the, uh, it wouldn't allow the user to interact anything. I mean, it's also, I guess, in some ways, intuitive to when, if you see a loading, uh, a loading spinner, right, you wouldn't interact with anything, at least for a few seconds, right? So, okay, enough of this talk. We're going to go into the Dalo editor. This is not their actual mobile app, but it's a it's one of uh it's a it's an app that has that shares the same database as our mobile app, so we have data to play with, and then uh, it's more of a testing ground as you can see here. So um, as I mentioned just now, right, when you click on something, like in this case, right, uh, the, uh, the the user is supposed to click on a book button. Uh, the book button is supposed to perform multiple actions, right? So Things like um, updating the user, deducting the credits, making sure that the user is enrolled into the schedule itself. And then it will send an email to the user 
telling them that, okay, you book a class. Okay, these are the details for the class. Remember to turn up for the class. And then, of course, it also informs the, the instructor and informs the team that a student has booked a class. So all this is all quite standard in, a, in, in, in kind of a booking app, right? You want to inform the person offering the service and you want to inform the person buying the service or paying for the service. And then finally, the, the last action is to link to a sub success screen. Okay, so this obviously will take some time, which you will see in a bit. I'm going to preview the app so that you know how it looks like. Okay, so they'll click on schedule, right? They will choose a class, so and it can be any class. And then you click on book. And then you'll choose a credit pack. I mean, in this, in this case, uh, there's, there's only one. So when they click on this, it's supposed to perform the actions that we mentioned just now. And then you see the loading screen. As you can see, it takes about four to five seconds sometimes because I'm living in Singapore. And most of our students are in Singapore or around the region. So outside of US, where the, alert, where the adult alert servers are. So as you can see, um, it, because it, talks, it takes five to four to five seconds, right? There's always, a, there's always a possibility that students might tap the button twice thinking that uh, is the system lagging or is the system not responding? So by implementing this, it definitely helped us. And I can safely say that the, there were no other instances where people uh, double tapped the button and then ended up having their credits dug twice. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, future tutorials regarding Adalo, right? please let me know. So I'll see how I can help implement it, uh, help help come up with a video tutorial or, and a text-based tutorial right, to help you out. Um, and at some point down the road, right, I intend to have uh, all this implemented in a clonable app, which you can clone to your own app so that you won't have to go through the trouble to implement it yourself if you wish to, at, at a small fee, of course. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave any comments or anything and share it with anyone that you think will benefit from this. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.